We are at Archive Studio on Bridge Street, and I am one of the members of Archive. And uh, this show is curated by Connie Mori, and it's comprised of work that is created by the studio members of this artist-run center, which began January 2017. Um, the idea of bridge as a concept for the show is really uh, part of our mandate as an artist-run center. We're on Bridge Street, um, and the mandate of the artist-run center is really to build a sense of community and connections to other artists and studios and other arts organizations in the city. It was really a beautiful thing that the opening of this show coincided with the Integrate Arts uh, Festival last weekend because we were able to be part of uh, a large community event and again that idea of the bridging uh, to understanding um, to the different ways that these artists seven interpreted the meaning of bridge and then tried to relay through their specific media uh, what that meant to them. So in the studio, uh, this is our first show as I mentioned and the members of our gallery represented here through printmaking, drawing and painting, sculpture, textiles, a sound installation um, are Alison Big and Connie Michelle Mori, Laura Felius, Karina Calvadis, Kerry Von Erickson, and Dave Reedstra, and myself, Regan Rasmussen. So when you enter the gallery, um, you see in the main space some of the textile interpretations. Um, Laura Felius has three pieces in the show, and this one in particular is called Granville, and through her line work, her textiles, there's a sense of the connectivity of places, of water. Um, we do live in a city where the Blue Bridge is a pretty important connecting factor and uh, we're by the ocean so there is some reverence for that and there is some reference to that. Um, Alison Big has explored this idea through her pace and she's got uh, mixed media printmaking and some text and it really warrants a reading in a kind of almost narrative fashion with the banners, the horizontal banners. Uh, this is a piece that I did and it's um, called Access Denied and it uh, has to do with maybe being on the boundaries, being on the edges, and um, in a contemporary sense where we look at issues of boundaries and walls and access or not access. Um, that was something that I felt I really wanted to explore. The idea of a membrane as being something that's permeable or impermeable with Connie's piece, um, Blueprint for Architecture as Membrane. Um, again invites the read or the reader or the viewer to uh, consider through the spaces between these materials uh, what that might mean. How, how does that connect or uh, not connect? The concrete in and of itself is a very tough um, material, the softness of the felt. Karina Calvadis has um, worked uh, a lot with uh, felting and her suggestion that this is a fortune teller, this beautiful little character, creature, um, I feel in some ways begs us to try to bridge the understanding between what we, we know is real, what we imagine, who could this uh, character, this creature be in a very whimsical fashion, yet uh, the posturing of it looks a bit contorted and maybe isn't all that comfortable. Uh, when we opened uh, the show, uh, we have a composer as one of the members of the gallery, and his name is Dave Reedstra. He's in the Czech Republic right now doing a residency. And he was kind enough to leave us with a soundscape, so he called it treatment, and we had it running during the opening, which 
it got lost in at some at some points in the evening, but it was quite lovely because when there were the uh, quiet quieter times, there was the sound that um, that Dave had created, and it was like he was he was a part of us. Um, the Blue Bridge, of course, the Johnson Street Bridge. Carrie von Erickson was um, working with a model, and he was uh, he often works here late at night, and. Um, sometimes leaves early in the morning and he had some beautiful um, pictures, photographs that he had taken of the Blue Bridge and again in a structural sense perhaps less than metaphorical stance, uh, sense, although there's metaphor in this piece, uh, the, the Blue Bridge um, is quite iconic in Victoria and there are layers of meaning that go beyond the structure of the bridge I think in terms of the politics and the controversy uh, that has gone on to replace that bridge to get it built. And Laura Felius again has um, some textile work and in these is exploring, she calls them inset one and inset two and using the, the embroidery rounds. There's this beautiful kind of stippling texturing, very map-like. And what are those bridges pathways? Where do they go? Where do they lead? Um, the blue has seemed to factor a lot into her work for the show, perhaps because bridges often span water, I'm not sure. Um, Connie Morris, uh, genealogical diagram A and B would perhaps, and again, this is just, uh, I don't know the literal interpretations, I'm trying to act as the viewer, maybe trying to enter in between my space and the world of the artist and to try to conjure up, but the bridges, the intergener intergenerational bridges or the genealogy and those kinds of things, the human connections, the connectivity, uh, I would think has something to do with these pieces. The um, piece here called uh, Central Spur, again, Laura Felius working with the textiles with uh, the beautiful color uh, sensibilities, almost like a watercolor, but fabric and, 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 and sort of out from the wall, giving it space, giving it a sense of presence with text incorporated and the stitching, again, suggesting pathways. Where do those pathways go? Where do they, what do they bridge, what do they cross, um, the, the bridging into language and the constructs of language. It's quite difficult to read what the words say, but the suggestion of text adds that other layer of, of meaning, bridges to understanding. Do we have to understand it? I don't know, it's just beautiful in and of itself. Um, this is another piece that I did called Anticipation, and I guess for me, again, it's about those pathways, passages, and some spaces that we can't always explain that take us into the realm of maybe the afterlife, maybe um, things that are not quite tangible. The materiality of this is such that although it's a drawing, um, the layering allows for some sense of kin uh, kinetic energy as people walk by, there's movement. And I feel that in some way the viewer becomes a bit engaged with the drawing in a different way because their movements may have an effect on the actual drawing itself set up slightly from the wall. These characters of Karina's, um, Hopeful Monsters edition of six, uh, as we were hanging the show, it was quite magical because they do have a presence about them. They're a group and they have this um, tenderness about them, this whimsicalness, this uh, how do we find out about their world, what are they trying to tell us about their world. There's real magic that goes along with this that I feel uh, whether there were children looking at these adults, grandparents, there's something that's very engaging about trying to find a way into these, these uh, little pieces. And we all have often wondered, what do they do when we leave the gallery at night? Do they run around? What do they do? Yes, and so this is our show, Bridge, and it runs to the 24th of September, and we're open on weekends. And we do have the studios open for people who would like to visit and see them, even if the artists aren't present. And uh, this is our contribution to Bridge, 
for Integrate and also to establish our identity as an artist-run centre and what we hope to create through this mandate of bridging.